Hannah Schwartz here from the Everything Saxophone Podcast. We're here at the NAMM Show 2022. We're live, and this podcast is sponsored by Legere Reads. I'm here with Robert from Chateau Musical Instruments, and I, I have a lot of friends that play Chateau Instruments. I have students that play them, but when I walked by the stand before, I was taken aback by this. Just look at the artwork on this. Hand-painted, right? Yes, this is hand-painted, and it's just beautifully articulated. It's based on our 22 series saxophones, so it's actually a student-grade saxophone, but for some reason, the paint not only does not hamper the resonance, but it seems to enhance it. So it plays more on, uh, on the level of intermediate or uh, professional-grade saxophone. And so it's, uh, it's a, been a very impressive uh, and beautiful piece of art for us but an impressive uh, instrument. Yeah, and uh, like I mentioned before, I have friends that play professionally, you know, in the Los Angeles area. They play, they actually play the Chateau student models, and it, they sound incredible. They sound amazing. Now, that was a tenor. This is the alto. Check this out. This is the alto, and it's, uh, again, hand-painted, and we've got a ship on there, and a ship for the open seas there, our MATR, Pirates of the Caribbean. Congratulations, Johnny Depp. <laughs> now, so let me ask you, because um, many people may not be aware of your brand, how long has Chateau, how, how long has Chateau been around? Oh my gosh, um, more than 30 years. We started out as an OEM manufacturer, manufacturing for some of the biggest names that are out there and uh, have been doing so for quite some time. but. The company wanted to break away from the OEM market and manufacture our own brand, and that's how Chateau came about. Um, it's been growing and growing and growing, and um, we've got dealers in all 50 states, and uh, things are coming along very beautifully. Can you just tell us, uh, we may not be aware, what does OEM mean? OEM, uh, it's that we manufacture for other manufacturers. I, the acronym has been used in, in several different ways, and so I'm, I'm trying to avoid just going according to the acronym because I don't remember it. But, it, but we're manufacturing for other manufacturers. Um, I, I, I can't name their names right now, but um, they're names that you would recognize immediately. Oh, for sure, for sure. Now, what sets apart these horns? Like, talk about like you know your student model, intermediate, professional model. You know, can you talk about some of the differences? Well, there's going to be uh, a difference in the metals that they use. The metallurgy is going to change. The uh, quality of the pads are going to change. Uh, they're going to be more ornate. Uh, we, uh, we engrave our own saxophones if we can, um, well, I'll, I'll grab another saxophone later on and show you some of the engraving on there. And it's all hand engraved, beautifully done. And so it, it gets more ornate. And uh, some of the uh, other um, accessories on the saxophone like the keys on our 90 series saxophones, we're using ab abalone instead of pearl. And so that's a little bit more expensive. And of course, we're using Pizzoni pads, but uh, our 50 series, the intermediate series, is also a big bell configuration. So it's a totally different configuration than, um, well, total, not totally different, but, but it's a different configuration than a smaller bell on the student line series, for example. Interesting. You know, we, we're, we're mobile. We could walk on over there. So let's walk on over to the other saxophone. Going to go right over here. Oh, wow. Well, this, is an, this is an intermediate series, uh, 50 series saxophone in a, with a vintage finish. And you can see that there's some real ornate engraving through the finish. Beautifully done. And it's all hand done. The saxophones play beautifully. We have a number of professional sax players here in Southern California who choose not to take their expensive Kyle Wirths, Yamahas, and Mark Sixes out of the house and would much rather take these out on the jobs. There's, they're losing nothing. They're lo losing no intonation. They're not losing any resonance. Uh, generally, the human ear can't hear the difference. But the saxophones play beautifully. They look great. And uh, we've got uh, several great dealers here in Southern California that are uh, very excited about the brand and uh, are doing great things with them. Yeah, and you know, like I mentioned before, you know, I, I personally know people that, that use these horns, and I do recommend them to my students as well. 
Um, yeah, just giving you like the full kind of look as to what's going on here. And it looks like, uh, so altos, tenors, I see sopranos also. Do you, uh, um, let me just give the full scale look for one second so you all can see. you got the curved soprano, you've got this straight soprano, yes. you got the one, the interchangeable necks over here. I see that one over there. Yeah, wow. Okay, cool. One thing that I've noticed too with the Chateau horns, intonation is really good. This is a, a gold lacquer curved soprano. Now, I've got a story to tell because I myself, when I was, um, I was looking for a soprano sax, and I was trying out all the brands. Uh, I was trying out all the big names, and I was not satisfied. I was looking for a straight soprano. And uh, the lady here, who is the director of North American Sales, convinced me at the time I was, in, I was a teacher at um, a very eclectic school here in Southern California. And she said, well, come on by and, and try out some of our saxophones. Well, why should I try out some of your saxophones? I am an endorsee for this other brand. And she said, well, just come on over and try out some of the saxes. She was incessant. She wouldn't give up. So finally I gave in and I went, went over to the warehouse. And I, at first I tried out the, um, um, the alto sax, the uh, student line alto sax. And it played very nicely. And I tried out the intermediate sax. So, wow, that plays really nicely. Then I tried the 90 series professional grade saxophone. And I thought, what have I done? I can't represent these other people anymore. And then uh, Karen offered me a job to, uh, to work here and represent the company. And uh, that's been 10 years now. So, but when I started uh, looking for the soprano sax, and I just was not satisfied with all the other soprano saxes I tried, and so I tried the 90 series soprano sax of ours, I was hooked. I had to, I had to make a decision, you know, was I going after the aesthetics of a straight soprano, or was I going after the sound? I went after the sound. I got a curved soprano. Now, here's the thing. Uh, I got to get this mic over here. <laughs> okay, here's the thing. Here's my question. I've always... Curved sopranos can be really tenuous with intonation. I think more so than the straight sopranos. But of course it does depend on the brand. But um, curved versus straight, I mean, you know, obviously you're gonna probably say your intonation is probably fine, but do you find any differences? You know, I personally, I have not. Um, playing a saxophone, and saxophones are not um, an exact science to begin with. A lot of it has to do with, with that relationship that we establish when we're playing saxophone. Starts with air, embouchure, the quality of the mouthpiece, the ligature, the quality of your reeds, and of course the quality of the saxophone. All of these things come into play when we're playing saxophone. You can bend the tones with saxophone quite easily. Does it play in tune? Yes. Uh, it doesn't have to. <laughs> If you want to bend the notes, you can bend them. It's responsive. That's one of the nice things about it too, is that it does respond. And the finer saxophones will respond better than the cheaper saxophones. And the cheaper saxophones won't respond at all. <laughs> but the saxophones respond, and they respond very nicely. And so, and, you know, I'm hooked. 10 years, I'm hooked. <laughs> and are you personally playing, a, uh, do you play the curved soprano? Uh, I, I play a 90 series, the professional level, curved soprano saxophone. And inevitably, when I'm playing a concert and the engineers are miking us up, they make a, a comment, something to the effect of, man, that's the sweetest sounding soprano sax I have ever heard. And so that's when I really fell in love with the saxophone, was when I started hearing the guys with the ears saying, hey, that's really nice. And that, that, really, uh, that really encouraged me too. That's awesome. So as you're putting that back, I have a question. Do you, um, I don't see, I see tenors, I see altos. Do you guys make Barry saxes? We do. Oh, so, so you do, okay. We yeah. have one, we do have one here. Okay, where am I missing it? Um, that's awesome, they do make Barry saxes. That's good to know, especially for, especially for my friends and my students. Uh, where is your Barry sax? Right oh, right there, that's why, because it's lower to the ground. Here we go. Okay, let me get the camera on this for a second, here. All right, cool, let me give you that. And this thing plays beautifully too. We have just recently uh, sold a whole slew of them into uh, Orange County. 
the Orange County schools are using them, and uh, I, I sold a slew of them into Michigan. So I know that the Michigan uh, high schools and universities are also using them, um, and they're very pleased with the quality that they're getting. And for the Barry Saxes, are they? Um, do you also have student, intermediate, and professional models as well? We have two levels. We have the student and we have the professional. Um, both of them play beautifully. I could, I could see that, you know, I could, this is a great choice for students, um, for students everywhere. And you said you have dealers in all 50 states, so that's, that's really good to know um, for sure. What's, what's your website? It's uh, ChateauUSAMusic.com. So go to www.ChateauMusicUSA.com and you'll see our, our brochure online and if you want you can leave some comments or you can uh, request if you have requests for you know you can't find a dealer near you contact us directly um, I could give you my phone number online but then I get bombarded by, by phone calls I'm sure the website probably has a contact form on there it does it does have a contact form and then those um, I being a, a representative of Dorsey and artist for Chateau those contacts will make it to my desk eventually. Thanks so much, Robert. I'm glad I ran into you. Thank you, Dan.